I'm Niklos, and I've been working with Hugging Face on large language models. And for this paper, we investigated scaling data constraint language models. The premise for this work is that we are data constrained. So when we train models such as GPT-4, GPT-5, we're running out of data. So how can we fix this? We have two solutions for this. The first one is repeating data. So can you simply repeat data in order to get more out of your data and scale further? It's important to mention here that prior works like Palm and so on, they never really repeat it. And so for large language models, this has been a very uncommon thing, even though it's pretty common in other machine learning problems. The second thing we investigate is adding code data and changing existing filtering strategies in order to get more out of your data. We have two boxes here investigating each of these solutions. Here on the repetition side, the key findings are really that you can repeat for multiple epochs, it's fine. And we can even come up with a formula to predict the exact decay in value as we keep on repeating. I just want to finish off with the plot here on the lower right, where we have two different models. The one on the top is trained according to um, just equal scaling of parameters and tokens from prior work, whereas the one on the bottom is trained according to scaling equations that we put forth, and it leads to a better performance in this repetitive scenario. And now we're going to move on to the second solution real quick. So here the me key message is really that you can, um, again, repeating on downstream performance doesn't really affect performance, which is, which is seen by the by the purple line, where it stays roughly constant as you have less and less data available. Uh, the red line corresponds to uh, filling up missing data with Python code, and uh, here we also see that it, it helps, it's fine. And then we find that if you quality filter first and then repeat, which is indicated by the star in the top, you can get a lot more out of your existing data. So our high level recommendation really is, uh, take a huge data set, do some quality filtering, and then repeat for multiple epochs, and you're gonna get the best large language model, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Feel free to check out the paper if you want. It's on archive. Everything is open source. Um, any comments, feedback, very welcome. Thank you.